Hello, everybody, and welcome to episode two of the Hangar Talk podcast. Today, we're going to be talking about the P-47 Thunderbolt. Now, the P-47 is one of my favorite aircraft because of its beautiful aviation history, its wonderful sound that you hear when you, when you see it fly, and its paint scheme. So, the aircraft is one of my favorites. Uh, its engine type is a Pratt & Whitney R2800 double wasp engine. It weighs 10,000 pounds. It was introduced back in 1942, and, first, and its first flight was uh, May 6, 1941. Its designers were Alex Cartevia, or Cartevi and Alexander P. De Servisky. It's ra- or Servisky, sorry. Its range is 801.6 miles. It's man- it's manu- it was manufactured slash built by Republic Aviation. And the P-47 proved itself to be a formal fighter bomb- fighter bomber because it proved itself to be a formal fighter bomber because of its good armament heavy bomb load, and its ability to survive enemy fire. This is uh, proof because it was actually a bomber escort that it escorted bombers during World War II. It was known as Little Friends to uh, B-17 pilots and crew because of its uh, bombing escort, uh, bombing escort, escort capabilities. And then it's, but there was a problem though. German, uh, the Royal Air Force actually used Spitfires, and their and the P-47s could barely reach the German border, even when loaded with external fuel tanks on. And then when they were tr- retreated back to an enemy base, the Luftwaffe was waiting for them. This was known as Black Thursday. Now it's the this it was also one of the toughest Allied aircraft during World War II. Its outmits maneuverability and its fifty cal uh, two fifty caliber machine guns on the wings. There are only four airworthy uh, P forty sevens flying today. Uh, it's most of them are owned by the uh, Planes of Fame Air Museum out in Chino, California, uh, nicknamed the Jug. And uh, there's one uh, at, based at Chino Airport in an in an Allied in the Allied Fighters hangar. Uh, it's nicknamed Dottie May. Uh, I want to say it's a P-47D model. Uh, it's a really beautiful P-47. I've seen it fly many times. I saw it fly at the uh, Planes of Fame Air Show back in 2019. And we I hope we get that back soon so I can see all the beautiful warbirds uh, fly. And uh, it, it, was the, it was actually the sixth fastest um, uh, World War II propeller airplane. Coming in at 426 miles an hour, the P-51 Mustang was above it at 440 miles per hour, and below it was actually the P-38 Lightning. So uh, it's a really great airplane, and uh, it's one of my favorites. The P the P-47 pilots destroyed more than 7,000 aircraft during the European theater during in World War II. More than more than uh, more than half were in air-to-air combat. Uh, they were just, dest- and they also they destroyed remainders on very dangerous ground attack missions. The P forty seven P in the P forty seven stands for stands for pursuit, like all the other uh, P aircraft. Like there are the P fifty one, P P sixty three, P twenty six. That meant it was job was it it was its job was to pursue the enemy in combat, like the BF one hundred nine and the F one nine zero that they encountered while escorting bombers over Europe, and it was very uh, fast. Most pilots would train to fly it either by flying the PT seventeen Stearman, the PT thirteen, the PT twenty six. Those were all training aircraft to fly, so it actually goes up to eleven instead of ten. Uh, for that reason, I don't know why. P-47 also was replaced as a bomber escort by the P-51 Mustang just because of its uh, its fuel, it, its problems with uh, fuel tank and exter- and um, ex- ex- so sorry, I can't speak. Ex- uh, you, you, it's I don't know what really is. So the P-47 is an amazing airplane. It's one of my favorites. Uh, that'll do it for this week. We hope you guys enjoy it or enjoyed it. And uh, make sure to like and subscribe. And we'll see you on the next episode. All right. Bye-bye.